My name is Michael Marvin Pasley. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. I was born in Harris Hospital on 9-1946. I'm 74 years old. I joined the Air Force in 1963. I did boot camp in San Antonio, did tech school in Amarillo. I worked on uh, F-102 jet fighters. I was stationed in uh, Richard Gabar Air Force Base in Kansas City, Missouri. And from there, I, I discharged and I come back home and started my life. I went to work for my dad when I was a teenager. I'd work with him in the summer when I was about 13 or 14. And then I really didn't get into the carpentry until about 1974. Up until then, I just, uh, I'd flip hamburgers or I was a sacker in a grocery store. So I did various jobs. And then, it, then I decided I wanted to do carpentry because the pay was pretty good back then. So I joined the carpenters union. Well, I started uh, working here at LaGrande Plaza on uh, November the 11th, 2004. I was working over at uh, Grapevine Mills Mall, and the superintendent over maintenance recommended me to the mall manager here at LaGrande Plaza. I come over here and did an interview, and she, she, I was hired within a couple of days. I've been here 16 years, and uh, I've really enjoyed my stay here. It, it's, uh, it's a challenge at times, but I love a good challenge. Well, my biggest accomplishment, I would say, would be the uh, two-story Santa house I built in the shop. I had to build it in stages because it was too tall to fit under the ceiling in the shop. And another one would be, uh, I built a giant door I thought it was going to be big enough. I started out, I built it uh, six foot wide and 12 foot tall. Well, Mr. Perizay wanted it bigger. He wanted it huge. So I ended up adding to it. So I made it 12 foot wide and 23 foot tall. It probably took about a month to, to build it and uh, to finish it and uh, to put a clear coat on it. It took quite a few guys to put it up. We had to put it up in two pieces. It's quite a project. I really enjoyed it. And this is the only place in the mall that it would go. It's too tall to go anywhere else. had my cabinet shop in 1992. I got a call from YMCA. They wanted to know if I could build a box for their aerobic class to step up and down on. I said, sure. So I built them a, a aerobic step bench, and from there on it blossomed. I sold thousands of those steps to different uh, churches. The boy, I even sold some to the Boy Scouts, health clubs, colleges. They were shipped all over the country. I shipped some to Alaska, and I even got a call from a hospital in Hawaii wanting, wanting some. And I told the lady the shipping cost would be more than the step bench. And I told her, surely you can find somebody, some carpenter over there to make you a box. So I don't know if she ever did or not, but I didn't ship her any. <laughs> There's a few projects I'm working on. One is that, that big chair. I'm refinishing it. 
We put it out in the mall for people to sit on to take their uh, pictures. And after uh, a year or two, it gets kind of worn out. So we have to bring it in, sand it down, refinish it. So um, we know that you uh, were around when this uh, location, this property was a lake back in the 50s and 60s. Can you tell us a little bit more? What was the, uh, what was the use of the lake? Okay. There, there's a railroad track running by the lake called the Katy, which stood for Kansas, Texas, and Missouri Railroad. They used the lake to fill up their boilers on their steam engine. And when the steam engines were no longer needed, they went to diesel, they didn't need the lake. So they sold the lake and they put a mall called Seminary South, one of the first open air malls in the Southwest. Now see, I made this about three years ago. This used to be uh, part of the food court. So I, I built the wall, but I, I didn't paint it. Our painters painted it and finished it out for me. Uh, but I built the benches and I built, it, built everything that's in here. They're all still anchored pretty good, so. Everything in here I made. My wife and I got married in uh, September of uh, 71. We have two daughters, one's named Christy. She's uh, 55, she lives in Virginia. And my youngest daughter is 42, she lives with me. She moved back, she was a disc jockey out in West Texas. But when her mother got sick, she moved back with me to help take care of her mother. And uh, we had a good, happy life. She took care of me and I took care of her. And then in uh, 2011, she had to go on dialysis. So uh, she was on dialysis for about six years, and she got tired of going. Dialysis is tough. So she passed away in October of 2017. And I remember one time I told her, right after we got married, if, if you want me to get up and go to work every morning, you need to bring me coffee in bed. and bed. And she doesn't even drink coffee, but she would bring me coffee in bed every morning before I got up and went to work. So she took very good care of me. And after she got sick, I was her caretaker. For six years, I took care of her. I've had a good life. I've loved, I loved growing up in Fort Worth. I, in fact, I loved it so much, I've been in, on the south side all my life, all 74 years been on the south side of Fort Worth. I, I don't believe I've ever lived any place else until the time I was in the military and I, and I was gone. Are you planning uh, on retiring soon? I'd like to. I'm 74 years old, but I don't know what I'd do. When I was sick, had had some, a few health problems, I'd sit at home and I'd be bored. So, uh, But I don't think I could do it. So if I can just come in and work three days a week, five hours a day, I think I could get by until I'm just uh, not able to do it anymore. But right now I can get around pretty good. I, I enjoy what I do. I love working here at Lagarde Plaza. The people have been really understanding and good to me. So uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. <laughs>